Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new uh, Team of the Season Pedro Gonzalez card to review today. We're taking a look at a card that is uh, five foot eight, high medium work rates, right footed, four star skills with a four star weak foot. He's actually made available in the market now. Uh, he was actually extinct in the beginning, which is very interesting. Player traits in game. He doesn't have the outside foot shot trait or the finesse shot trait. Uh, he is a player that is 5'8, which is actually nice to work with, considering the fact that he does have an average body type. So we do have to see what that dribbling is going to be like from his base card stats. Uh, base card pace is set up at 93 91 for acceleration and sprint speed. So we're going to be boosting that up to a uh, 98. 96, which is definitely going to be very nice to have in the attacking areas. I could potentially give him a Hunter chemistry style uh, if I feel like need be uh, because of the extra physical that they actually give the card. Uh, for base card stats for shooting, it is also set up really nicely at 96, 90, 96, 98 with 86 volleys at 91 composure. So very important that the shot power is as high as it is, but it's also very nice that his long shots are nice too to work with the 90 finishing. With the Hawk chemistry style, we're going to be boosting the physical shooting and pace, so the shooting boost will definitely be very very nice for his card as well, with 96 attacking positioning at a high medium work rate. Base card stats for passing, also very good in the card if you want to use him in any of the attacking positions, which is definitely very cool. Uh, his dribbling stats are all at minimum 90s and up, but again, we do have to work with the average body type in-game. Uh, what's cool about this Pedro Gonzalez card is that it is yet another card that EA has given defensive stats to, which is absolutely phenomenal. So if I decide to not like him in the main attacking areas, I can use him as one of my midfielders, or <laughs> really weird to say this, but I could literally use him as a fullback if I really wanted to, right? With a card like this, if I get him on full chemistry with an anchor chemistry style, take a look at the stats that you actually give the card and what you're working with, a shooting card, someone that has the four-star weak foot, a lot of very cool variables that you can work with when it comes to Pedro Gonzalez in this game. So the defensive stats, guys, is a very big deal because it's a very similar situation to the Tecatito card as a gameplay objective. Um, for physical, we do have 94 stamina, which is good cutoff in this game. Uh, 96 or 76 for strength with a plus 5 on it. But not only that, but the Hawk will also be giving him a 97 for aggression uh, to work with the pace that he has as well as the average body type. So in game, we will be lined up with a 442 to try him out and see what his attacking AI is like. We're going to play him up top. We're going to play with um, we're going to play with Rafa in the right mid position. If I can actually switch this, Rafa to the right mid position, and then we're gonna have Otavio playing up top with Pedro, because Otavio is really nice at up top. This one I have to take off the get in behind to see what his base characteristics are like, and then the rest of this should be good as it is. Okay, cool. Uh, let's try him out. Hopefully, he is a beast. Oh, Otavio's already started off hot, boys. Otavio doesn't mess around, dude. Let's go, Pedro. Uh, you guys notice that... I, I don't know if you guys... Oh, you guys can't see my controller nowadays, but... When I make a pass and the person himself sees the space and immediately goes into it, I need that. I don't like the one-two play of me actually doing it because they just run in a straight line. So it's good that he does that there. Ooh, that actually came off real fast. Oh, sick. Ah, uh, his dribbling. His dribbling response to this is not bad. It's not bad. It felt a little bit off right there. Get the finesse shot off right there. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I try to get the finesse shot angle right there. Nice little shot cancel. The shot didn't come off like crazy smoothly, to be fair. Oh, I should have I should have done an extra dribble. I should have done an extra dribble. No. So 
So his his dribbling is very interesting, guys, because what Pedro was telling me so far is that I would use him as a center mid. I do have to see what the uh, other chemistry styles do to him in the main attacking positions, but I am curious to see. Okay, guys, so for this next game, I'm going to give him the marksman chemistry style, and we're going to try him out up top in the striker position again, but this time... In the striker position, we are also going to rotate to two different formations, right? Because it might be a thing where I'm not crazy about him at striker, but I might change the instruction on him. 4-2-3-1, we're going to have him playing in the cam spot as well. So we'll see how he performs in both positions. There it is. There it is. You know, I think for me, if I were to use him as one of my center mids, it, 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 it's going to be either like an anchor or a marksman. It depends on like what I want more, you know? Oh no, AI block. There it is. Let's go. Nicely done. I, I just want you guys to notice something, right? Because I already did the Otavio review. Did you see Otavio's attacking AI movement right there? Just from Stay Central? Ugh. Ah, uh, uh, don't give me that, EA. Don't give me that. Come on. Ugh. I just don't deserve that, you know? I, just, I don't. I don't deserve it. Look, see, defensive stats are, man, the stats are always nice to have, guys, I'm telling you. Attacking positions, defensive, well, defensive, obviously, but... Oh, hello, you're making that run already? First time? Oh, I think he actually moved his goalkeeper there. Oh, I, I cancelled the air, press LTRT, come on, I know he's... Uh, the, you know what's funny? I actually know he's not going to touch the ball properly there, because they just don't when it's close, when it's almost out. So it's just a FIFA mechanic. Oh, I thought he was going to bang that from that angle. I was like, excuse me? <laughs> what? So from what I'm getting with this card so far, guys, is that from a base characteristic, uh, his dribbling does feel a little bit off for the main attacking positions, like whether that's Cam or Striker. Uh, it's a tiny bit off. His attacking AI in the Striker position is decent, but it's a card that I think that if I were to use him as a center mid with these characteristics would be very, very nice to work with. Now, these dribbling stats, like the way that he performs dribbling on the ball and stuff, in the midfield position, I'm totally cool with. Like, no problem whatsoever. It's the main attacking positions that I don't feel like I like him as much, right? So, like I said, by default, this card is still cool because they gave him defensive stats. And, you know, it's because that Future Stars card in, in, the, uh, in the past actually had uh, a midfield card, if you guys remember correctly which was obviously very, very cool um, from base card stats too. It's just that it made more sense to get the right wing at the time. Yeah, like I like his movements if I'm using him as a midfielder, you know what I mean? Like he has such like center mid characteristics. I will say though, I am liking him more in the cam position for the 4-2-3-1 than in the striker position. Definitely feels like he belongs there more. Right from there? Oh, not bad. That's just terrible, but <laughs> we're just, we're just going to move from there. Hey, man, I'd still be happy to pack this card. That's for sure, man. He'd be, he'd be a sick card to use. Ah, what is, the, what is the goalie animation right there? What was that? <laughs> okay, guys, so the last thing that we're going to give this card is the finisher chemistry style to boost the shot power finishing, attacking positioning, but as well as the agility, balance, and dribbling to see if I can fix that dribbling part of his card. I don't think I'll be able to. I do think he has the base characteristic of a person I would rather use in the um, center mid position, but I just want to see, right? So we're just going to have this on that. Perfect, and then Gonzalo or Gonzalves will be on Cam, 
and then 4-4-2, play him up top of the striker position. Awesome. Okay, cool. Oh, there goes Pedro with his defensive stats again. Oh, Ter Stegen saves that with his glove. No shot. Come on. Uh, for dribbling, guys, the marksman was better on him. Yeah, Markson was better on him. I don't think he needs the agility uh, balance. So you can't fix that base characteristic of his, guys, because of the average body type. Oh, I try to get that finesse shot angle there. No! There we go. Get him on his left foot right there. Cool beans, cool beans. Um, I'm going to switch him back to the cam spot for now. Oh, that hole, that, that push touch was crazy. Ooh. Yeah, see, he has, like, dude, even the movement that he does in the attack, it just feels like it'd be beautiful to have that in the center mid position. I still have it. Let's go. I don't like him with finisher, guys. With finisher, I don't like. Marksman was the better one. He feels very strange with the finisher. Not nice at all. There we go. He gets a movement out of him right there. Yeah, center mid. He's giving me some crazy center mid vibes, man. Crazy, crazy center mid vibes. There we go. We get the near pulse angle. Good stuff. His strikes, once he gets into those angles, are, like, very direct, you know? Those ones are good. Nice. Vaila, Gonzalez. Vaila. Listen, I know I said that it was the last one, but I really want to try him out with the basic chemistry style because the basic chemistry style looks really good for him in any position you want to play him in for fun, right? So center mid... 100% for me, guys, is the position to use him in. That's how I feel so far, okay? Not so far. That's how I feel, okay? But with the basic chemistry style, you give him dribbling, pace, shooting, passing, and defensive boost while giving him some extra physical. So I think that that one's going to make the most sense for me personally. Let's go, Pedro. Uh, guys, the basic is the best one, I think. Yeah, I think the basic is the best one. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the Team of the Season Pedro Gonzalez card. So I had to play a few games with him to really feel him out because it wasn't one that was, like, super obvious right away. Um, but a basic chemistry style, guys, is the one that makes the most sense for him, in my opinion. Uh, I actually felt like he was moving a little bit better in the attack, which is funny because the basic gives him 99 attacking positioning while giving him some extra dribbling, some passing, which is very, very nice to work with. However, with this card, guys, he's a type of player that 100%, the way that he moves in the game, the way he moves on the ball, everything, he belongs in the center mid position, right? Center mid position, a nice little three midfield setup, whether you're using like a 4 one 2 and 2 a 4 3 3 that's where he feels like he belongs the most in that right center mid area in particular. You could totally use this card as a fullback, but honestly, it would hurt my heart so much if you use him as a fullback. So as a center mid, it would definitely make a lot of sense to use him in that area. In the attacking areas, guys, you will notice the average body type actually affecting the card from time to time. With Otavio, it was a little bit different. Like his dribbling, he has like this really cool close control dribbling that actually helps out the card a lot, which Otavio, in my opinion, just doesn't. He definitely feels like a card, like I keep saying, that belongs in that center mid area. Someone who's going to attack, someone who's going to defend, and the basic chemistry style is going to be the best solution for this card playing in that area. So if I end up packing him from some sort of SBC in the future, that's where I would personally use him. Uh, obviously, for fun, I would still use him in the attacking areas because that's where he plays in real life for sporting. But I'm telling you guys, when I gave him the basic chemistry style, he performed way better. Even in the attacking areas, the cam position, the striker position, I'm just saying that I prefer him mostly in that excuse me, in that midfield position, center mid in particular, because of the attacking and defensive presence that he will offer you from time to time. So 
Hopefully you guys enjoy this review. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.